something selected in Photoshop. Um, so I'm looking at this image, I have a square on the screen. You can do this with any image, just for the example, though it's much easier to show you with a solid shape. All right, let's say that I wanted to create a border around the shape. There are a couple ways to do it, um, but one of the easiest ways to create a border is to go to Select, Modify, Border. And all of these options right here actually modify my selection. So if I click Border, what this does is it lets me choose a pixel width, and I'm going to choose a bunch just so you can see a good example. But if I choose 10, notice how it took me 5 pixels in and 5 pixels out. That way if I wanted to, I could take my paint bucket tool, my paint bucket tool, and I could actually click this and it would create a border, like a black border. If I went to select inverse, I could actually select the inside and change the color of that. So that is, so that is modify the border. Um, if I go to select, modify, smooth, let's zoom in so you can see what this does. Um, essentially what this does is it smooths out the corners of my selection. Let's undo that. And you can guess what expand and contract do. Expand makes your selection pop out a little more. And contract does the exact opposite actually brings it in. Um, when would I use those? Like if I was going to blur, if I was bringing a person into an image, now um, I might just want to blur the outside edge just slightly so if I, have, if I had them selected, I would, you know, contract the pixels and blur that outside edge just slightly. Um, and the last option here is feather. And let me just show you feather um, from a different standpoint. I'll show you from this picture of this surfer, which is actually myself on the picture. Um, so let's go to my picture of my surfer, and let's say I wanted to just take a picture, a circle picture of him, kind of nicely tapered out. So let me show you what the feather tool does. I'm going to take my elliptical marquee, and I'm going to draw a circle around this surfer. I'm going to draw a big one, and I'm going to move it just slightly. Um, just so it's more in line with him. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to go to Select, Modify, and I'm going to click the Feather tool. Um, I'll choose a big feather. Let me choose 10. Click OK, and nothing has happened. Right now, if I press Delete, I'm actually going to delete the person. And you can see there's a nice like tapered hole where they were. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to go to Select, Inverse, and delete. And what this does is it has actually created, I'll zoom out a bit so you can see it even better, a nice tapered picture of them. And this is how you modify the borders. Thanks.